Hello to all of you amazing people, my name is GSB and I am back playing Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. It is an indie game by the Chinese Room and I am loving it so far. This is part four, I do believe, of my gameplay of this game and I'm gonna try and run down like a rough summary of what's going on. It's really difficult to explain. So, I don't know who I am. I have no idea who I am whatsoever. Um, it's all first person. The only thing that I like, it's, it's, it's all coming together. So, there's a ball of light. I'm sure it'll appear somewhere. That's it. Been guiding me through this small English town. And everyone's gone. I haven't seen one person dead or alive. At all. And so this ball of light guides me through and it also shows me like ethereal f flashbacks of past conversations between the villagers and it's everything's just slowly coming together of there's like scandal behind these people of what happened to them and it started out with they thought it was another dead bird over at the swimming pool oh here it is That's the fourth one this morning did you fish it out yeah did you get a chance to think about that pay rise? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese. I've been a little bit busy. Oh, Rachel. Sorry I'm late, Mrs. Graves. I was packing away the tennis thing. Did you check Mr. Cole Shelley again like I asked you to? He's not back yet. I haven't seen him either. Do you think he went into town? Maybe. Yeah, something oh, like Reece, that. Oh, the Dentons were booked in for a 4.30 tennis session, but they didn't show up. So I went to their chalet. You know, they always take the one near the campfire, but they weren't there either. I think maybe they went into the village for a hoover bag and might have given Mr. Cole a lift. A hoover bag. Why on earth would they do that? Well, I think maybe Mrs. Denton was hoovering and the bag broke so they had to get another one. Because there's this dust all over this chalet. Oh, dust. I heard about this in the last, um... Oh, there's my bowl of light! It's been my guide. I don't know if it's malevolent or benev benevolent, but we'll find out some point in this game. Um, my theory is that it's... They are... Uh, aliens of some sort, I'm, I'm sure. Um, it's a lot easier to explain if you go back and watch parts um, 1, 2, and 3. Because I can't... Uh, I, I can't explain it very well. This game is... Let me get that. Oh, okay, manage. Whoa. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. God damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except Kate? Okay? I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. So these past um, conversations you're seeing between this Stephen and a Lizzie, they are, well, they were ex-lovers when they were younger, and then Stephen moved away and married Kate, and Stephen and Kate are both scientists who, I don't know if I can see it from here, but they work up at the Vallis Observatory, which at the beginning of this game is where you start, and the Vallis Observatory is where um, this energy that was hurting people came from what the hell was that anyway um steven and lizzie are ha were were having an affair like they're not anymore because there's no one there's no one here so from what i've gathered um what happens to people first and the reason why they thought it was some sort of virus or influenza is you start to bleed from your nose and ears and then they just disappeared. People would just disappear. Um, so what I thought was the brain would start was would start hemorrhaging, and then people would just go poof. 
which is, I haven't seen it happen because I haven't come across anybody so I don't know but we're back at the beginning of the campsite if you watched my last video I went through the whole campsite and got to know Lizzie and the whole backstory and oh it's craziness um where'd my ball of light go Well, I don't have a map, so we're going to go back in the main hall, see what we can find, and then I'll make my way out of the campsite and go along further into the village. This village does a circle, so I'll eventually end up back where I started. And this must be the strange dust that they were talking about. I first came across this dust when I went into the church. Uh, the parish um, back in the first part of this game and if you can see like there's cigarettes still burning um, they couldn't have disappeared very long ago and this must be the strange particles that they were talking about um, back in the last video they were talking about how the camp was trying to put on a the show Peter Pan to try and keep all the children calm while stuff was just people were just seemingly disappearing and falling ill and then disappearing and it's just craziness but I'm oh, I'm so enjoying this game I really really like this game if you well there's no action from what I can tell there's no action whatsoever you're just becoming a part of these people's lives through their past conversations and experiences and I like it a lot Lakeside Holiday Camp this this is where I am that the what is that are those where I've been okay I need a you are here there it is yeah, because I went to the right and made my way back around. and I guess those are where I went, because that was not like that when I first came through here. Huh. I want to know who I am. At first I thought it was Steven, but... I don't know. I don't know who I am. For all I know, I could be one of the... Nah, I gotta be a person. Eh. I have to be a person. There's my ball of light! It's my guiding light. I need it, because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Since I entered the camp, it's been raining like this the whole time. I'm coming! Slowly. I kind of understand why you're not allowed to run in this game. You'd miss quite a few things if you just ran around trying to find the conversations between people in this game. and It just takes away from the whole aspect of it. But I really like this game. Let me know if you really like this game so far. Down in the comments, please. <laughs> I always... Oh, here's an important one. I have these two. They're important. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <sighs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I, I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Oh, he's clever. You gotta give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here. 
doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you see that? You know what I haven't done while those are going on? I actually haven't looked around at my environment. I might um, see what they saw. Dang it. Should have been looking around at my environment. But, see, I have the normal past conversations between people, and then I have those, which those are, like, important. Moving the story along. Uh, that man that Lizzie was talking to is Father Jeremy. He's the... He's in charge of the parish in the village. And he was the first person I saw um, his past conversations. Because you go through all the important people in this village. Like We have Father Jeremy. I saw all of his. Um, we have Wendy, who is Stephen's mother. And then I saw Lizzie and some of Rachel, who's a young girl. And Frank, who's a farmer, um, on the way to camp. Whoa, that was great! And I think we're still in Lizzie's. Where am I supposed to go? Stop making a circle. That voice over the intercom is a new one, so I think I'm supposed to go to the main hall and see something important. This music's getting slightly intense, and it sounded really weird. Okay, I'm going. Alright. Oh, the particles. Are everywhere now. Whoa. Oh, an important one. It's all coming together. Come on. Kid. 
I'll be alright. You should get some sleep, Charlie. You look exhausted. There's a lot of sick people here. Sleep. I didn't even notice that. That was really sad, like, in the moment. I think what I'm seeing, and I can't believe I haven't put this together yet, I'm seeing the last... bits of energy from these people. Oh, look at all those stars. It's like residual energy. The last things all the people in this village did before they disappeared. Oh, it's dark now. It's not even daylight. Oh my god. Oh man. Everything just got real, guys. Wow. It's very beautiful. Understand why you don't run through this game. Wow. <gasps> God, that thing scares me. Oh, this is beautiful. And it should be scary in some way, but it's not. It's calming. I recommend everyone at least play this game for themselves. I really, really like this game. Chinese room did an excellent job. So beautiful. All the stars that we don't see, especially because we live in cities and it's all blotted out by unnatural light. Oh wow. Steven. The Steven. Oh man, we're gonna get to know Steven. Oh no, that was so beautiful. Oh, everything's about to get real, real. Like real, real. Real, we are real. Oh, so sad. Data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Stephen. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening in no, here. No, you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. 
I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, oh, no. Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Oh, no! Kate, don't do it! I don't think I'm actually in this village. I feel like I'm more in... A really strange way of saying it, more in a simulation. Kind of sciencey kind of way, I guess. It just wants to show me everything. Has control over the, over all the elements and changing um, what I'm seeing and. Oh, what is that? What is that movie called? Oh God, I can't think of it. Oh no, it was a sci-fi movie. Um, Contact. Yes, kind of like the end of that movie, Contact, where the aliens are showing her. Oh God, I haven't seen that movie in so long. Such a good movie. If you ever get a chance to watch it, Contact. I think it came out in the '90s, but such a great movie. Makes me really want to watch it. Where am I going? I'm I'm gonna keep uh, no back. I feel like that's kind of counterproductive, right? Nah, I'm gonna keep going forward. <laughs> it's like I've already been there. Why, why am I going back? That was beautiful. Please let me know if you thought that was beautiful down in the comments. That was amazing, amazing. I'm stumbling over my words. It was so amazing. Yeah, just some of the strange things that's happened here. Controlling day and night and what I'm seeing and the strange particles. And I feel like it's being shown to me rather than I'm in it. I it's guess. completely dead. It won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, okay? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. I will, I promise. You as well. I'll see you later on. Say I love you. No one says I love you. It's like the first thing out of my mouth if I feel like something like... If something bad were to happen, that would probably be the first thing out of my mouth. I love you. <laughs> Just so they know. Alright, you are here. Um been to the Tipworth, I went to the camp, I've been to the farm, through the forest, I got lost. <laughs> so I'm getting close to lakeside and uh, the water, the lake, and there's the observatory. Okay, okay, wait. Is that a path? Probably shouldn't venture out. I got stuck last time. phone. Where's it at? I'm coming. But why on earth 
see you there. Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify... Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Jesus. Lizzie, listen. Be ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. When it finds a suitable host, it amplifies. I wonder if that's why whoever I am is still here because it found a suitable host, but I didn't die or disappear. I'm pretty sure I'm Steven. Like, I gotta be Steven. It's the only thing making sense to me. I don't know if I'm Kate. She kind of lost her mind. I'm on my way, ball of light! It's getting very dark. Okay, I see. It's important. Oh, an important one. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think so. It'll be an adventure. Need... It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's, she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Well, I was going to give Kate a house, because they want a family. Huh. Dead bird. I honestly don't have to worry about coming across any humans. I haven't seen any, so it's just backstories and balls of light. <laughs> but yeah, there's. It's like metallic sounds in the background. It's weird. What the hell?
Is it coming from in here? I guess not. Okay, moving on. Where are you coming from? The hell? Let me in! I know I'm coming. I'm looking. <laughs> well, darn it. Oh, there it is. Woo! No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? Jeez. I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off his energy source, it's food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an have airstrike. To. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. are you listening? It's figured out ways around it. Radio waves, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen, my my family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we have a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. Oh my god. Jesus. Stephen wanted him to... It's finally getting dark here, like, indefinitely. So that's the reason the birds and the animals started dying. It would enter them, but they couldn't hold it. So they die, and that's why humans were dying. Pretty much the brain was hemorrhaging, because it would enter a host, and those couldn't withstand it. Ooh. you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. You keep away from me tonight. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. Wow. 
I'm coming. Well, Kate knew about Lizzie. That got blown up. All right. Well, um, this is where I'm going to end this video. And I think when we get to part five, that might be the end of this game. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you're enjoying this at all down in the comments. And like this video if you're also enjoying it. <laughs> um, and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new content every single day. And you guys are amazing, as always. Thank you. Stay humble. Bye.